Breaking news, a CDC advisory panel backed Pfizer COVID-19 booster shots for millions of Americans. That includes people who are considered especially vulnerable to the virus. Royce Jones is here with the breaking details. Royce. Well, Ken, Christine, this all came down within the last 30 minutes. Today, the Advisory Committee on Immunization Practices recommended a single booster shot for people 65 and older and residents in long-term care facilities. All of the people getting the booster must have had their primary shots at least six months beforehand. The committee also voted to recommend people between the ages of 50 and 64 with underlying health conditions get the Pfizer booster. I spoke with the head of pharmacy over at AGH who explained the importance of the CDC in this entire process. The CDC really is when it puts into the, the guidance or the guidelines, so to speak. Um, that's when the payers also approve the payment for the vaccines, um, as well as other factors that play a role. Um, clinical guidance are made, ba made based on CDC approval as well. So FDA approved it, and then the CDC has to also approve the vaccines before uh, the providers who are us, uh, who are administering the vaccine, we can go ahead and administer the booster doses. And do you remember that last night the FDA gave emergency use authorization for the use of the Pfizer booster shot for people 65 and older, those who are at high risk of severe COVID-19 infection, and those whose job puts them at high risk. And they also said that people needed to have been fully vaccinated six months prior. And coming up at 6 o'clock, I'll share how one local vaccine provider is preparing to administer these boosters. Live in the studio, Royce Jones, KDKA News.